Hey friend, thank you for joining me today. Uh, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Tracy Hart and this is my mom. Hello. And her name is Rita and she's here with me today. We're gonna do something that's not wheat related but something that's very special to both of us. Something I learned from her. We are going to make a sweet relish today and we are inviting you to join us as we make this and I will give you information about the recipe download at the end of the video. So let's get started making zucchini sweet relish. Okay, so what we're doing is we are preparing the zucchini to go into the food processor. What are we gonna do with this? What's the food processor? Tell us about the next step. Uh, we're, what we're doing, we're gonna grind zucchini, we're gonna make a double batch, which the recipe, one batch, or one recipe will uh, yield five pints. Uh, if I have enough zucchini, I always have to do a quad batch. But we're going to make a double batch today. And you grind your onions and your zucchini, and you put salt, and then you let that sit overnight. Okay, and we're going to do that at this time. This is an old food processor. It's over 40 years old. But it is, it's a good one. Sunbeam. I've had it for years and years. So we're going to grind, and we're going to put... Um, our goal is to get cups, 20 cups of ground zucchini. All right, hang on. One, one recipe calls for 10 cups of ground zucchini. We're hoping that we can get enough to do uh, for 20 cups. That will give us a double batch. You will notice that we even do this with the skin on it. You do not peel the skin off, you leave the skin off. Okay. could not imagine having to chop all this by hand. Oh my goodness. It would be such a chore. Okay, are we almost at 10 quarts? Got a bit more to go. I think you can use this. I have learned through the years that we'll take that out. you can it can vary a little bit. Some of the batches are a little different, but it, I've never had a batch turn out bad. And I've been making this for 
over 30 years. Now that's a pack. That's kind of packed. That's okay. You want to turn and look at it? What you think? Yeah, I would do a little more. A little more. A uh, little more. a lot of zucchini and these are grown here and our garden so this is something you cannot buy in this store we this, love this recipe this recipe we love this relish it's really good on like sandwiches hamburgers hot dogs potato salad chicken salad tuna chicken salad, salad. and uh, it's just been a favorite Bold, uh, no, not bold eggs. What do you call well, egg salad? Egg salad, deviled eggs, deviled eggs, deviled eggs, or there's another term for them if you don't want to call them deviled. I don't know what it is. Okay, now here comes the hard part. Uh, doing the onions, we may need some tissues. Okay, they're hot. Do you want to go ahead and put that in a bucket? Yes, let's put this okay. in a bucket. And then we will do. All right, so I've actually washed and I have a bucket that um, was one of my empty wheat buckets. I've cleaned it and we are ready to put. Here. You want to just put this in here? Because this is going to have to sit overnight. And we'll tell you more about that once we get all of those components in there. There's a lot of water in this, these zucchinis. Okay, now we're ready to do four Sorry. quarts of onions. Okay. There we go. There you go. Okay, and I'll start slicing. Hope these are sweet Vidalias. Maybe they won't make me cry. Okay, so we are cutting up onions. We're going to need just like four quarts. Yes. Four quarts of onion. Yesterday, I worked ahead and I went ahead and peeled and cleaned these really well. These are Vidalia sweets, so they're not as... They don't have as much of a bite to them as your traditional onion. And onions have a lot of water in them. So when you think you have enough, you usually have to add to it. My eyes are burning. Yeah. Burn. yeah. Okay, we've got four quarts there. Is that that's good? Yeah. But this is what makes it good. 
can take out that big piece. Yeah, I'll pick out. Sometimes one will slide in. Okay, we have. We'll go with that. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So we're gonna add bucket. this to the bucket. I'm not gonna pick the bucket up. Um. He threw onions on the floor. Throw them in the trash. Okay. You can't put it up here. Yeah. I'm going to stir this with your hand. I'll let you do it. All right. You need to get the salt. Are you done with this? Yes, we need um, 20 tablespoons of salt. So you, if you could convert that. All right, here's, okay. We will. All right, 16 tablespoons is one cup. So we could do one, one cup, cup of salt and then four more tablespoons, right? Yes. What does four tablespoons come to? Four tablespoons is a fourth of a cup. So one and one fourth cups. As soon as she gets that salt, we'll stir it really well. Oh, it's cold. Those zucchini and onions have been in the refrigerator and this will sit overnight. One and one. Is that okay to measure it in here? Yes. Mama is the expert in this recipe. I made it last year for the first time by myself. But she's made it for years and years and years and years and years. I got this recipe back in the 80s when we lived in Brentford, Florida. How full of water? Uh, there was a lady that did canning for women that worked. And she had some okra. And she asked me to come cut her okra because she had baby chickens. They had chicken houses. And I'm talking about thousands of birds. And she did her gardening she grew her vegetables and she would buy sugar by the bell and you would go in her house and she would have just pot buckets like this there might be 10 or 15 in a row and i was so impressed with her because uh, her house was spotless but i got this recipe from her and, and, and from some other good pickling recipes she put up beets okra Bread and butter pickles, mock apple rings, uh, seal pit, uh, just everything you can imagine. But this is where I first found it, and I would buy the rest, uh, buy the zucchini from her. She, you got it even now? No, I got too much. I got one and a half. So uh, I got the cookbook from her church, where her pickling recipes. There were probably a half a dozen in there. And she was an older lady. I'm sure she's been deceased for years. All right, how's that look? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to put this in here, and you'll see that tomorrow we will rinse this and wash, we'll wash it out. You don't want something to stir with? No, your hand's the best. Just make sure you wash your hands before you put it in. Are we in. finished with the processor? Yes. I'm going to unplug it and move it. I think I've got this stirred really well. We'll just cover it and let this sit for about 24 hours. And this will yield how much? It's This one will yield 20 pints. It's five pints per recipe. recipe, and we did a quad. You know, there are pickling recipes. I've heard of some that are like 14 days. You uh, pickle, do pickles for 14 days. I never had the patience for that. But uh, there's all kinds of recipes like that out there. So we're gonna get this cleaned up. This is the one she used yesterday. It was much smaller. 
It took me a good bit more work because I had to open it and close it. But I purchased this at yard sale um, a couple of years ago just so I would have my own. I have seen these at resale, consignment shops, thrift stores, this same model. So if you don't have one, you don't want to buy a new one, don't be afraid to shop for one this size because this will definitely get the job done for you. Yeah, I could not imagine chopping all this by hand. I guess you could. Now, okay, this is day two of making zucchini relish. The, the zucchini, the onions, and the salt have sat overnight, and to me, this is the part I do not like, and that is washing it. And this is the way I do it. I pour it in a pillowcase. Do that right now. And we want to squeeze the juice out, and then we want to wash the salt off. And when you get finished, you'll think, oh, I don't have any left. It just, there's so much water in it. Oops. See how fine that is? Yeah. Is that all of it? You yeah. scrape it out. We want every little bit. Hang on, let me get my scraper. And I will squeeze the salt water out, and then I will take and, and try to wash it. I'll wash it and squeeze. I'll probably do that at least two or three times. You could use a cheesecloth or, or, I've never used a colander. I don't remember how the lady that gave me the recipe, I don't know how she did it. But this has worked for me. And, and I, this is a pillowcase that I use exclusively for food processing. This recipe. We don't So we have on. it all in here. And you can see it's just it's just dripping with this salt water. And you want to just squeeze it and squeeze it. And you'll see how much onion how much water is in that onion and zucchini. All right, hang on, I'm gonna hold the camera up so they can see it. And you'll think it's all gonna go away. That's what it looks like. See, I'm still getting it out. I'm getting your arm work out in. You want me to do that? I can do that. Huh? You do it. All right, and then to rinse it, here's what I do. Open it up. You want to rinse it on. Is this cold this way? The other way. The oh. other way. I want cold water. And I just come down here and I just work the water through it. You want to get that sawed out hard to get the camera yeah. down in there. It's hard to see. Okay, I'm going to squeeze that out. And I will do it one more time. Rinse it one more time and then we'll be ready to. Get it in our cooking pot and we will cook it with all the seasonings and we'll add peppers, vinegar, sugar. Smell the onion coming out of there. All right, I'm gonna squeeze it as well as I can.
There's no way to get it all out. It's just, just go around and squeeze every side of it. That's all right. It's coming out though. Yeah, look how much is left. It looks like we're going to have just one little old jar full. I know the first time I made it, it was so disheartening. I thought, oh my goodness. All that work for nothing. But when you add the other stuff, it will multiply. Okay, first I'm going to add the vinegar, five cups. You don't want to go and put the relish in the zucchini no. in there? Mm -mm. No. Let's do this first. The thing you have to watch is you do not want to scorch it. Okay, pour that in. While you're cooking, and this pot has a very thick bottom, so there's not as great a danger of it scorching. Okay, now we need... Eight cups of sugar. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and put in eight. Okay. Before I put the vegetables in there, I'm going to put this on the stove and let it get hot so that sugar will dissolve better. And I'll go ahead and add the seasonings. Now the seasonings we put in, there's two tablespoons of cornstarch, and I have put all the seasoning here in this little container. Four teaspoons of celery seed, one teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of dry mustard, and two teaspoons of turmeric. So here's the seasonings. Put that in and we're going to get this good and hot and then we will add our vegetables and while that is heating we're going to uh, put two peppers the recipe calls for one red sweet pepper and one green sweet pepper we don't have any green I went by the store and they didn't have any green so I'm going to put a yellow and an orange um, Sometimes I have made it and I just used all green. Of course, this orange and yellow will make it really more colorful and uh, prettier in the jar. And, and these relishes are, are sweeter, but uh, we'll grind it up. And then when we get all the ingredients in the pot, then we will cook it for about 30 to 40 minutes. And you have to be very careful that you stir it. You do not want it to scorch, even though that is a heavy pot. That is, you, it would be uh, tragic to do all this work and then burn it, scorch it. Okay, here, okay, here it is. All right, let me do these peppers real quick. Uh, one thing, too, this does not taste like pickle relish because it does not have cucumbers in it. And I'll, I'll confess here, I'm very careful when I share this because years ago I wanted to do something nice for one of my uncles and I took him a quart of zucchini relish and I gave it to him and, and he's long been deceased. But when I told him it was zucchini relish, he said, oh, don't tell me that. He's, in other words, just the word zucchini turned him off. So, you know, I've shared it with different people, but I asked them first, do they like zucchini or will they eat it? Because some people won't, and it, it's a lot of work for someone that doesn't appreciate it. Hand. And, uh, just so we have a few pieces that are bigger and they'll show up more we're going to the dump relish. the whole thing you have some juice in it and it's going to add some color to it hold it up close to the camera and flavor those kind of peppers are sweet okay I have the 
vinegar, the sugar, and the peppers, and the seasonings in here. And I'm trying to get the sugar to dissolve. And I will be adding the zucchini and the onion shortly. I think we're ready. We can add it. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's turn it down. Smell something burning. It's your. It's dripping on the. Okay. Let's just water it. It's okay. I turned it down. I smell something burning. Okay. So get that. Oh, it's messy. Ah, oh, very messy. If anyone could give advice on how to get it out of the bag, but I'm sure there's a trickier way. Mm. All right, let's turn it back up and get this hot. And we're gonna cook this when it starts bubbling. This is okay. You ready? Yep. Okay, this has cooked 30 minutes, and it is tender and sweet and bubbly. So I have these jars. They've been sterilized in hot water. They're cleaned. Or wash in the dishwasher, and then you put them in a hot I water a bath. A scoop, probably a fourth of a cup. Look over there on the top drawer. They sit in a hot water bath to sterilize again. No, the other drawer under the little oven. Talk about the processing. Like how? That we don't bathe these. I, you don't put them in a bubble bath. Is that what you mean? Yeah. No. This is so hot, it will seal on its own. This other thing is handy. I just bought it last year. Right, yeah. It is so handy. I to have, have one too. Okay, you want it about a half inch from the top. And, oops, that's a little too much. And my mama taught me you always clean around the top to make sure there's nothing there so that no food particles seal. Uh, I think we can turn this off. And I did that last time and it got too cool. Well, I'll watch it. Okay, put this on there and hand me a ring. And you don't press the lid down. No, it will start dinging as it cools. Let's do one more for the camera and add some more here so they'll, the others can be getting hot. Yeah, you want it hot so it will seal. I've had some in jars that would be two or three years old, but it normally doesn't last that long. We eat it faster than that. A little bit more. Okay. so you have to be careful. Even with our two, you don't hardly see the orange. No, we, I think oh, we've grown them up too yeah. small. Maybe we didn't have enough. There's some. It's in there. Yeah. The red shows up really well when you have a red pepper in there. Okay, so... But, but you'll have the flavor of it, so... Yeah. That's what counts. I have made it before with just all green peppers. Uh, it's a shame that the peppers don't make at the same time here as the zucchini they will come in later and uh, you know if you go to the store and buy them peppers are expensive Oops, that's a 
little too much. I got a little bit of, of the vegetables of the mix on there and I mean, we'll need to retighten these, won't they? Won't I don't they? think so. Well, you, we'll you, check it won't on. hurt to check, but I'll leave my rings on. Okay. Okay, here's a double batch. It's five pints per batch, and we had this much left over. That's just a taste for somebody. And it will cool, and she can put it in her pantry. And once it's cold, we'll label the lids so that we'll know that this was from June of 2022. Okay, and it's... It, Thank you for watching. Yes. I'm going to include a link if you would like to receive a copy of this recipe. A downloadable copy just look for the description in the video I'll have a link for that where you can click on it and you can download it and if you have any questions feel free to comment and one of us will get back with you with an answer and we will see you next time thanks have a good day